Welcome back friends, Steve here, KM9G. We are going to install Chirp on a Raspberry Pi. Aren't green screens wonderful? Fairly straightforward, fairly easy to do. Might even be easier to do on a Raspberry Pi than it is to do on OS X. Stick around and find out. Oh, check this out. Okay, so what you're gonna need is a Baofeng. Well, you don't really need a Baofeng, but for 25 bucks, why don't you have 10 of them? You're also gonna need a programming cable. This is one that I made, and I've got some instructions linked down below and in a card up above on how to make that cable. It's really straightforward. You put some wires together and connect it to the FT232 board, which converts your USB port to a serial port. There are two ways to install Chirp on a Raspberry Pi, and I will show you the first way right now. On your Raspberry Pi, uh, you're going to want to go to Accessories, Preferences, Preferences, Add or Remove Software, and you're gonna to wanna to search for Chirp. Type in Chirp, press Enter. Wait for big diesel trucks to go down the road. And there it is, Chirp. And this is the version uh, 2019-01-04. So this video is being recorded November 1st of 2020. And this release of Chirp is from 2019-01-04. So it's a year and change old. It'll probably be just fine for you, especially if you have one of these old fashioned standbys or any other radio that was made in the last 10, 15 years or so, should be fine. But we'll go ahead and install this and then I'll show you another way to install it also. So you select it and then you hit okay. Like I said, this would be easier than it was on Mac OS X. It's asking you for your uh, password that you use to log in. The default password for the Raspberry Pi, as you all know, because you're playing right along at home is Raspberry. And of course you should have changed that just like I did. Okay, now that that is installed, let's get the radio plugged in. Whenever you plug one of these radios into a programming cable, the most important thing is that you get it plugged in all the way. About 97% of the problems you'll find with programming a radio is that it's not plugged in all the way. All right, that's plugged in. Let's turn it on. Okay. We go up to the Raspberry Pi menu and we go down to accessories and there is Chirp. And let's radio, download from radio. And we wanna pick the TTY USB port for the serial device that I put in. The AMA port is the built-in um, UART on the Raspberry Pi that we don't have anything connected to. Let's pick Baofeng, let's pick model UV5R. UV5 Army! Hit OK. And it's going to give us a big old warning. And we like to live on the edge. So we're just going to say, don't show me that ever again. And then it's going to give us some instructions. Relatively straightforward stuff. Turn the radio off. Connect the cable. Make sure the connector is firmly connected. This guy is smart. Turn radio on. Volume may need to be set at 100%. Ensure the radio is turned to a channel with no activity. The reason why is because you're actually sending and receiving. And if the radio is receiving a signal at the same time that you are trying to send it some programming data, it's going to get wonky. And then click OK to download the image from the device. I'm going to say don't show me that for any radio again, because it's the same instructions for all radios. Hit OK. And now we're cloning. All right, and there are all of the local repeaters that I have programmed in. And one of the things I want to do while I'm here is get rid of these EMS frequencies because they went digital. So let's delete and shift all memories up. And that one's gone, and I think there was two of them in there. 
I mean, I might as well make use of this while I'm making a video, right? And it looks like just one. Okay. And now we want to hit radio and we want to upload to radio. And the serial port's already gonna be selected. I, I, we could have changed ports in that short amount of time between downloading and uploading, but we didn't. And because this is a Baofeng UB5R download, it can only be uploaded to a Baofeng UB5R. So now we're uploading. And once it is done uploading, the radio reboots itself and you're good to go. Let's get out of here and I'll show you the other way to install it to get the latest version. So first, let's go into preferences, add, remove, and let's get rid of the one that we installed. Chirp, search, and then we will uncheck it and we will hit apply and it will remove the packages. And it says the following software also needs to be removed. And we say, go ahead. And just like before, it wants our password. And it's not Raspberry. Okay. And our search results for Chirp show up again, but there's no check mark. So let's hit OK to get out. And if we go to Raspberry menu and choose accessories, Chirp is gone. Okay, there are two ways of doing it. This is way number two from the command line. So I'm gonna go and click the world icon on the not start menu, which is gonna bring up a web browser and we're gonna download the latest version of Chirp. So we're gonna type in Chirp download. And the very first link is for chirp.danplanet.com. And we will choose that for download Chirp. And we'll choose that because that's where it comes from. Make this a little bit bigger so everybody can see it. And as you scroll down, there is this Ubuntu Linux users section. Raspbian OS is based loosely on Ubuntu and Debian, but these commands do not work. We need to uh, click here to download the latest version from the file repository. And you'll see that there is a Chirp Daily 2020 1014, October 14th of this year. We'll click on download for that. And the default location is the downloads folder. Let's go look in the downloads folder and see if that's where it landed. I'm gonna click the terminal icon, the last icon up here on the not start menu. That's gonna bring up a terminal. I'm gonna go ahead and make that bigger so everybody at home can see. All right, we're gonna change into our downloads folder by typing CD for change directory and downloads. And let's take a look and see what's in there. Chirp daily, I use the ls command. ls is for list stuff. At least that's what I think it's for anyway. Um, there's our chirp daily tarball, a .tar.gz file we call tarball. So let's extract that tar-x for extract, that z for gzipped format, v for verbose. I want to see everything it's doing. F for file name, and the file name is chirp daily 2020.10.14.tar.gz. All of the commands for this will be in the description down below. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And when you're ready to follow along at home, you can find the commands in the description down below. I'm not really proud of how that rhymed. I'm gonna change into the directory that was just created. You can see it on the screen. All the files got extracted to a folder called chirp daily 2020.10.14. There's that rhyming again. Okay. Before we do the install, I need to install a couple of support packages. sudo apt install python dash serial python, 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 I think it's not pythic, dash lib xml2 python dash future. That's right, we're installing the future. Dash y, why? Because I said so. All right, those are installed. We are in the chirp daily folder. So sudo python setup.py install. And it's running through the install script, copying files everywhere they need to be copied to. And 
it's done. We can leave the command line and we should go to the not start menu and click on the Raspberry and it should be under accessories. The installer program does not run the, hey, I put a new icon in the menu program, refresh yourself command. So we'll just do that right now by rebooting the machine. And we're back. And I did change that Pi password. Not start menu, click Raspberry, and there is Chirp. Turn the radio on. Error reporting is enabled. Radio, download from radio. Pick the serial port, pick the Baofeng, pick the model UV5R and hit OK. It's gonna give us those instructions. I'm gonna say, I don't want no stinking instructions. That's what I have YouTube for. And it is cloning. Supposed to be cloning. The radio did not respond. There, now it's cloning. I think it's running faster. It's not running any faster. And there they all are. Pretty straightforward. Told you it'd be easier than it is on Mac OS X. Okay, there you have it. so that is how you install a version of Chirp from the apt repositories on Raspbian OS. And then also we followed up with how to install a version of Chirp from the daily builds by using the command line method. So for all the instructions for the command line method, see the description below. And thanks for being awesome.